What up everybody, it's Hazmat and welcome back to this new video. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to improve your aim in shell shockers. Um, I was going to say I'm a pretty good source for this stuff. I do have almost 50,000 kills. My highest streak is 87 and I have a couple hundred hours clocked on this game. Probably more than that, a few hundred hours clocked on this game. But um, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you like my five tips and tricks on how to improve your aim in this game. So let's move on. So my first tip is finding a mouse speed that you enjoy. Uh, this means that you're going to pick a mouse speed, stick with it, and not change it too much. Uh, some of you guys probably already have a mouse speed that you enjoy. Awesome. That's good news. Um, the other steps in the video will help you. But for you guys that don't have a mouse speed, what you guys need to do is find one you're pretty comfortable with, stick with it for like a week, and if you don't enjoy it, increase it or lower it based on your needs. Um, so you don't want to be changing your sensitivity too much. That could cause chaos, and you'll never like feel comfortable with a uh, sensitivity that you have. So, so you're going to want to keep that the same, and then that's going to be the baseline on how to basically improve your aim just that could help. So let's move on to step two, or tip two. My second tip is to trace the boxes and surroundings in your area. So this means you're just going to take your cursor, or you know your crosshair, and just move it along your uh, surroundings, just like this. You, you, you're gonna have to wanna keep it tight. You don't want it to be out here, cause then, you know, you're gonna kinda follow that. You're gonna be, you know, ex you're not going to have your crosshair on people around corners if you have it out wide like this. You're going to want to keep it in and close. You can always, you know, move off of it. Let's say I'm here and someone's right there. I could, you know, move like this and then, you know, flick over to them. But you do not want to just wide peek it out here because your crosshair, you know, it's just dangling out here. Not good. All right. Not good. Um, so you're just going to want to keep you know tracing the surroundings and just keeping your crosshair close to you just like this it helps you you know maneuver the map check your corners that you don't you know necessarily know if someone's there and it'll just you know help you keep your crosshair in a good position to find kills in the near future so step three coming right up my third tip is crosshair placement this is huge when it comes to these kinds of FPS games. Well, maybe not so much shell shockers, but definitely other FPS games where you need to have your crosshair on the enemy about, you know, most of the time because it makes getting those kills easier. So what I see some people doing a lot of times is they have their, you know, crosshair down here pointing towards the floor. Uh, what's this going to accomplish? Is your is your enemy in the floor? Doubt it. Highly doubt it. So you're gonna want to keep your crosshair like up here, maybe maybe just a bit lower towards the center of an egg, but um, just keeping it you know nice and centered in the middle of your screen would definitely um, help with these kills that are on a flat surface like this. But if you are going upstairs, you are going to want to you know just kind of kind of follow the stairs and stay at that center height. So I'm not just aiming at the stairs. I mean I'm aiming at like a 45 degree angle as I'm kind of going up them. But also in some of my videos, you do see me also kind of trace that and then do like 180s and weird funky stuff. But just keep your crosshair nice and, you know, just in the just in the middle of everything on this game. Um, you know, just trace, keep it in the middle. If you need to check in a ladder, just look up. Don't, don't just go like that. You gotta go up. Um, but, but yeah, uh, this is huge. So is tracing. They kind of just go hand in hand. Um, but if you get good at this, definitely you're on your way. And uh, it takes practice keeping your crosshair up. It took me practice. But once you get it, you have it. And it is a huge help in getting kills. Especially people who surprise you out of the middle of nowhere right in front of you. You already got your crosshair set up. And you're ready to kill them. Out of the fourth stop. Alright, so this is our fifth and final tip. Um... So it is uh, tracking your enemy players. So this means that you're following your enemies no matter where they are, what they're doing, 
just like this. You know, uh, you're just trying to like stay, you're trying to keep moving whilst, you know, inflicting damage. The best way to practice this, in my opinion, is to use the P90, but the AK will work if you do prefer that. Um, it'll help with just crosshair placement, or it kind of builds off of crosshair placement. It could help, but it does just help you keep your crosshair ready and able to kill an enemy um, with also slowly kind of preventing you from getting killed because you are also moving uh, assuming you are moving but it's important to always inflict damage Wait, that's about my last tip I, I do recommend you guys do most of this stuff in free-for-all lobbies due to um, geez, uh, due to there's more players more people to see Actually, not, not more players. There's just more enemies. You're, you're versing 17 other people instead of like 9 when you're on teams or cap the spat. But basically that's, uh, yeah, definitely recommend. And see that? Just tracking your enemies, inflicting the most damage is the way to go. Uh, we are low-key going ham. And just end the video. Let's see if anyone commented. Are you the real hazmat? Gosh darn it. I'm not special. I understand how. I, you know, I've gotten used to it, but thank you all for tuning into this video. I hope all of you are staying safe in this coronavirus thing. Um, just remember, it's all about having fun. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support lately. We passed 500,000 views on YouTube. Uh, literally, this time last year, we had 55,000. Now we're up 500,000. I mean, <laughs> this is crazy to think about. So thank you guys so much for all the support and I hope all of you have a fantastic day.